Hey friends and welcome back to Sewing From Scratch. I am Kate and this is where I teach you everything I know about sewing and we learn more together along the way. In today's video I'm sharing with you some of my favorite hacks to do to sewing patterns so that you can get a more custom look. Let's get into it. be thinking, Caitlin, you already have a video on sewing hacks. I do. Beginner sewing hacks. I will link it below. Actually, when I was prepping for this video, I had made a list of the sewing hacks that I wanted to talk about. Every single one was from that video. So I had to scrap all that and then think it over. So what I did is I scrolled through some of my past makes to see if there's any inspiration there or like anything I've done that I can talk about. And I came up with seven hack ideas for you to try. First up, we're talking about adding elastic. You can do this pretty much anywhere. The garment that inspired me about this was the Seamwork Joe dress that I made. It's kind of a sheath style dress, and I added elastic to the waist of it to make it, you know, kind of fit my smallest part better so it doesn't just like hang off of me. Um, really, really like how that turned out. You could also add elastic to your cuffs or even like up here on a shorter sleeve shirt or a longer sleeve shirt. Add elastic to the bottom of a sweatshirt or to the cuff of a pair of pants to make them more of a jogger style. There's a lot of things you can do with elastic. You could also do it vertically to make like a ruched type effect. Again, there's just so many different things you can do with elastic. Hack number two is franken sewing or pattern mashing, taking the bodice of one pattern and the skirt of another and mashing them together. You can do this with necklines, you can do this with sleeves, you can do this with just specific elements or hoods or pockets. There's no rule saying that you can't take two, three, four different patterns and combine them into one to give you the exact look and feel that you're going for. Similar to that, pattern hack number three is taking a one-piece garment, like a one-piece swimsuit, or a dress, or a jumpsuit, and taking it apart. So only using the bodice, or only using the bottom of it, and making a pair of pants, or a skirt, or a crop top. Taking things apart to, again, just use the elements that you want. In a recent video, you saw me take a one-piece bathing suit, cut it in half, and alter it to be a two-piece. That's another thing you can do. Sewing patterns are just a starting point. Pattern hack number four is the sleeves. We all know, we all love sleeves. There are just a million different styles, a million different things you can do within each of those styles. So why not have some fun with them? You don't have to use the sleeve that's on the, a pattern. If it's a dolman sleeve, make it inset. I took the dolman sleeve off of this t-shirt dress that I hacked and I put an inset sleeve in there. So there are ways that you can do this to make it fit your style better. You know, if it's a regular fall off the shoulder sleeve, Add some width to that sleeve head and gather it in to make it a poofy sleeve. Like I said before, add some elastic to the wrist, make it a bell sleeve, do some shearing, add a, like a tie to it, a bow, that would be really cute. There's a lot of things you can do to sleeves to amp up their wow factor. I really like two-piece sleeves, like on certain garments, like jackets for instance. To me they just fit better and they just again add some interest so I really do like doing a two-piece sleeve when I can. Next is adding buttons or a zipper. Now this sounds really simple but that's because it is. You, If you're adding buttons you might want to add a little bit of extra width so they can overlap. Adding a zipper you really don't need to add extra width other than maybe some seam allowance. Again like skirts are really great for this. Add something to the shoulder. If you're having like a cowl neck add some buttons down there. Do a Henley. Do really anything. <laughs> if we're talking about zippers again you can make something nursing friendly if you're in that stage of your life. There's a lot of different options you can use with buttons and zippers make a zipper pocket or a button pocket or add some really cool details to a pair of pants or the back of a jumpsuit. There's just a lot of interest you can get with buttons and zippers. All right, number six is making a pair of pants or skirt or shorts high rise. So this isn't as hard as you might think. It's also not quite as simple as you might think. We don't just like extend 
well we do we do just extend the waistline but we also need to keep in mind our rise and like the crotch curve and all that as well as if you need to like draft out or in for your waist you need to kind of keep that in consideration too but that's why we do muslins right so making something low rise into high rise is a really great way to stay on trend and personally i think high rise are just way more comfortable that's probably just because of my body type but i know that a lot of people have gravitated towards the high rise options so you might have sewing patterns in your stash that are low rise it's a fairly simple hack to make them high rise some even have length and shortened lines right across the crotch. And lastly, I wanted to mention finishes. So this could be your seam finishes or how you finish a neckline or a sleeve hem. It's not really a hack, it's just a different way of doing things, I guess. But you could use a bias binding or use a facing. You know, the bottom of a curved hem, do a curved hem facing. I've done that several times. There, you could do like a lace trim or a lace facing. There's a few different products that you can get that will showcase this stuff or show it off. So you can, of course, buy bias tape for a plethora of things. There's fold over elastics you could do on knit garments. There's, like I said, the lace hem tape that I really like. It's so pretty and vintage. And then just like a variety of like crochet laces or, or fabric laces or nylon or whatever that you can buy and then sew right sides together to your garment and flip it out and then there's really no hemming. It's kind of like cheating. So if you didn't know that, okay, I guess it is a hack. <laughs> Try it out. And that's all the hacks I have for you today. If you are looking for more, I will link that other video down below. And if you did enjoy this video or you like learning new hacks for sewing, give this video a big thumbs up so I know to make more content just like this. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!